Hello students, welcome to DSC 2019 solution. This is a part two. So in this question, we have been given a limiting value, and we have two arbitrary constant. So C1 and C2 must be equal to what? So let's just combine this structure. Limit extends to infinity. So x squared minus x plus one. So multiplying the denominator and numerator separately in that way for all the terms with x plus 1. So x plus 1 is this. So c1 x square c1 x c2 x minus c2. And that is equal to minus 5. So if this is to be true, so the coefficient of x square in the numerator must be 0. And that of x should be of minus 1. So the coefficient of x square all the things will be gone then only it will be coming so 0 coefficient of x square and uh, so of x will be minus 5 so this gives c1 equal to 1 c2 equal to 3 1 3 is the combination option 1 is correct let's proceed to the next one Uh, the efficiency wage uh, theory argues that firms choose to pay lower wage than the classical equilibrium wage thus the real wage is lower than the wage at which the labor market clears okay so this is the benefit for the producer structure okay so which one this thing is actually saying next take a look into the options and the next option they are talking about the structural plan okay so if we just see this so the main part farms is whether firms choose to pay lower wage than the classical equilibrium wage thus the real wage is lower than so these are the thing here also higher wage lower than lower wage higher than so this is the option option 2 is been missing here uh, so higher lower lower higher lower lower so this must be of higher with higher and the answer is this higher with higher for efficiency wage theory in order to keep the workers keep on going and getting to the maximum possible benefit with market clearing so according to theory of competitive advantage countries gain from trade because of what reason so the gain uh, all can take the advantage of the cheap labor no if it is abundant only Output per worker in each firm not always. World output can rise with each country. Specialized, yes, specialization effect. So this is the correct answer. Next one. So in a two cross two, the two countries differ in which part? So the answer is a relative availabilities of factors of production. So this is a relative concept. We have done it in the previous part also. So the option number two is correct. Last question. Y equal to 2x plus 5 is tangent to the circle. So at point S, so P equal to what? Okay, so the line and circle meets at P. So let P equal to x comma y. It should be that x square 2x plus 5 whole square so that's 16x plus 12 into 2x plus 5 plus c so this is 5x square plus 60x plus 85 plus c equal to 0 so because the line and the circle are tangent so like this at this point x y so there should be only one single solution to this uh, so one solution 
so this intersects at this so this means that the equation must be uh, at 5x plus 6 whole square so this is giving c equal to 75 so the point is minus 6 comma 7 so option number uh, is not provided uh, unfortunately two options are missing here so two is the answer